Hi, this is Igor from hdhead.com. We finally have the Avid Transport Control available for DS version 11. And it's really good, believe me, I wouldn't say that if I didn't really think that. It's really good, it's very responsive, it has a pretty good feel, and uh, it's fully customizable. And that's what we're going to look into in this tutorial. The system already comes with a preset that works pretty well, but if you want to customize it, and further, if you want to make different settings for different types of things that you do, you can do that easily and then save those presets and load them based on what you're doing at the time. To customize the controller we'll go up to the view menu, single instance views, external controller setup which takes us into the customizing menu. Down below the left column we have display assigned and unassigned checkboxes. What these checkboxes tell us is assigned tells us which keys and knobs on the controller are already assigned and the one on the right tells us which ones are unassigned. As you can tell, this is a completely blank slate configuration. I actually deleted everything that came with the unit, which you don't have to do. You can use what ships with the Avid, which you'll find here if you go to load, Yukon DS Transport. Let's open that up. In this preset, everything is assigned. There's nothing left on the unassigned side, so let's take a look. The buttons and the controls of the hardware unit are on the left, and on the right we see what Avid DS function is assigned to each one of these. I find it easier to customize the existing configuration because some of the assignments are already pretty good. What you would do is on the right hand side you have a drop list for command categories. All will show you all of them. Or if you want to go specifically to some area of interest you can just pick that one from the menu. We can't really drag anything from the right side to the left side now because everything on the left side is already assigned. In order to assign some functions from the right to the left we first have to unassign them from the left side. And the way you do that is you pick something on the left side, press delete on the keyboard, which clears it up. See, now there's no longer anything assigned there. And, and if you turn the assigned items off, you'll see that this key has been vacated. And now all you do is drag from the right to the left. As soon as you do it, it disappears from unassigned list because it is actually assigned. Now, if you look at the soft key number three, it became play. And the reason why I'm missing soft keys 1 and 2 is you may have noticed those are hardwired to enable or disable jog and shuttle. The command categories list on the right is really good because it contains a lot of stuff that I was either never aware of or knew about at some point but then totally forgot. Uh, so just browse through it and you, you may find some exciting little shortcuts that you might be able to assign to uh, different keys of the controller. And as I said earlier, you can save the presets, and you can save multiple presets, as many as you want, uh, create presets for different tasks that you do. All you have to do is go to Save, type in the name of your preset, hit OK, and it's right there. You can save it, you can share it. I would gladly share my preset with you, but I'm actually still experimenting and changing things around, so I don't feel it's ready to share. And then again, it might be specific to the way I work, so it might not, not even work that well for you. One tip, if the external controller setup for Yukon is not available, it's very likely that when you were installing the DS, you overlooked a little checkbox that you have to enable in order for the drivers to install. That happened to me because uh, this is quite new, so I just installed it without looking. I was scratching my head until I figured out that I did not put the drivers on. Great, so this was a quick little tutorial. Uh, check in on my website, hdhead.com. Maybe at some point in the future, I will upload a couple of different presets for the Surface configuration. But uh, until then, I will talk to you later.